Hello everyone and welcome back to my subscribers. If you're not already a subscriber, I'll put a link here for you. This is going to be a real quick video on POV cameras, specifically the replay camera. Now, POV is point of view. This is the type of cameras that I use for my first person shooter videos where I shoot the stages, the IPSC stages, and I'm always looking for something a little bit better than what I currently have. This technology is changing on a semi-rapid basis. And I saw this replay. It's the form factor on it is what attracted me the most. It's uh, what I call a lipstick camera. They're about the size of a lipstick cartridge, a big one in this case. But what really caught my eye to this one was the fact that it was one inch in diameter. Now, one inch in diameter sounds kind of weird, but it'll mount with using a weapon mounted system to your AR-15 or any other kind of rail type thing. This is an offset rail or an offset mount for my AR-15 but this thing will fit in this which is pretty cool most of the other POV cameras like the the GoPro and the Contour don't can't use that type of mount they have to use a specialty mount and this thing here will get nice and close to the gun and out of your way it's not so bulky like the other cameras um, basically everything you see laying out here is what came with the camera this is the 720 model. There's a 1080 model as well. It's a little bit more. I went with a 720 because I wanted to experiment. And, you know, for the most part on YouTube, 720 is good enough. Um, I'll show some video footage here, the first person video footage. This is me testing with the replay. You'll notice the sound is not that great. Uh, I wasn't that impressed with the sound and the, the white balance is off just a little bit and it's just kind of pinkish purple and now this next video is the contour this is the, the camera that i typically use i'm actually using a contour hd it's a really old camera it's like one of the first models they came out with i use the contour hd and a contour roam so whenever you're looking at my videos, these are the type of cameras here that I'm using. So you'll notice the white balance is a lot nicer in this, but however, the field of view is a lot wider. I think it's a 135, maybe 170 uh, view. So you're getting this super wide angle view. It's kind of fish-eyed. The replay is much smaller. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll throw in a couple of still shots so you can see the difference. It doesn't look like much. But I thought it was enough that where it might help. Though I was a little disappointed in the white balance itself. So now the still shot here on the left is the contour and the still shot here on the right is the replay. And you'll notice there's a subtle difference in the, the size, the field of view of what you're seeing. The contour is going to have a wider field of view and a more of a fisheye effect where the, the lines get distorted, especially the extents. Uh, if you were to look at like a grid pattern, you would see some definite warping. The replay is not going to do that as much, but you're also losing a little bit field of view. Now, here's a test, a video test of side by side. All right, here we go. We got the contour on the left and the replay on the right. I'm in a semi-shaded area. Let's take a look up. Let's walk out here in the sun. Mainly curious about the white balance. Of course, the audio too. As far as I know, I'm not covering up the microphones at the moment. So here we are in direct sunlight, looking back. Let's look towards a shaded area. Let's walk in the shaded area. So as you can see, I'm not that impressed with the quality of the, the replay compared to the H, to the Contour HD. The, the, the white balance really throws me off and the audio is not as great as I was hoping for. But, you know, it's an experiment. That's why I want to show this video to you guys. Um, looking at the stuff that actually comes with the replay, it comes with a carry case, an AC adapter that uses a USB cable, and I believe it's a USB mini and not or not the micro or maybe I'm sorry the micro not the mini and it also comes with a 12 volt charger so you can charge it off the 12 volt uh, sockets in your car plugs into your USB cable right there 
it comes with a couple of different mounts. This one here has like a little locking style like the wheel on a bicycle. It doesn't seem to lock that tight for me and it rotates 360 degrees and has a little bit cant up and down. And then it slides into one of these. It comes with four of these little mounts right here and they have adhesive on the back. So they just kind of snap in like so. I find once you snap these bad boys in, they're really tough to get out. And then this is the one I've been using on the hat. Uh, for that video you just saw, I took one of the adhesives, I put it on the bottom, and then mounted the, the, the camera to the bottom side right here. <clears throat> now, why, why did I put it on the bottom of the hat, not on the top? I believe I get a better field of view, a more realistic view of the shooting when it's as close to your eye as you can. And that's how I mount the contours. Here's the contour, and by comparison, you can see the difference in these are pretty big, or pretty far. So the contour, I have a modified mag light mount on the bill of the hat, and I just snap it in right there. So it's kind of big and bulky, but it gets the field of view, or the, uh, the, the point of view that I really want to convey to the users, or to the viewers out there. Um, this one here, once you put it in, in order to get it mounted on the hat, you'll notice this is the upright position with the buttons on top. It snaps in like so. You're not going to be able to get to the buttons. So what I do is I rotate it 180 degrees, the opposite. So now it's upside down. So when you're viewing this, you have to rotate the video 180 degrees in your editing software. It's not a big issue for me, but somebody uploading straight up might not be able to do that that, that, that easily. Getting it off is like a little bit of a bear. It's hard to get your fingers up underneath that thing and then to press it out a little tight. Um, the controls behind this are fairly simple. The only thing I wish they really came with or it really came with was a lens cap. You know, the contour comes with a little rubber cap that protects it. It's nice to just toss this thing in its mount into the shooting bag along with everything else. It does come with a little carry bag, but in order to get it in the little bag, you have to remove it from the mount itself. I wish it did have one of those. Uh, the controls are pretty simple. You just turn it on by pressing and holding the button here at the front. It vibrates three times. The lights come on. It tells you it's on. The blue light tells you the power is on. We come back here, we press and hold, it'll vibrate a couple of times, three times, and then it uh, the red light comes on, so now it's telling us it, that it's actually recording. If you want to take a still shot with the camera, you just press and press for one second and let off. It takes a picture, it vibrates three times, lets you know it takes a picture, and then it comes back to the solid red light. Stop your recording, you press and hold, it vibrates, and the red light goes off. So now we've stopped recording. Turn it off, you just press and hold till it vibrates, and then the blue light goes off, so now our power is off. The uh, controls are here in the back, the, the memory card. Unscrew this. It's an aluminum body, feels pretty sturdy. Nice, fine uh, threads here. Here in the back, we have the memory card slot, which is a micro SD or trans flash, however you want to call it. We have a reset button and a charge indicator, I believe that is. And then we have a switch that selects between 60 frames per second and 30. I use 60. Yeah, I think you'd lose a little bit of your resolution, but I want the frames per second. I want that fast frames per second to try to catch all the action. And then we have a switch for internal and external mic. Not that impressed with the mic as you saw before. It's right up here in the front. It's not that great. It does come with some plastic tape that you can put over here, like if you're riding on a bicycle or a motorcycle and want to eliminate the wind noise, you can put it over that. Um, if you do buy the external mic, I think it's around 40, 50 bucks. It's a unit that screws onto the back right here or connects to this, uh, a whole cap. I haven't tried that. Not really interested in trying that. I wanted something that was wireless. This is what I was going with. But, you know, these are a little tough to get out sometimes depending on your fingers, if you got fat fingers or not. It comes with a four meg, <clears throat> four gig, sorry, um, memory card. And it also comes with a, tr a regular uh, SD card adapter. You just plug the little trans flash or the micro SD into here and then you can use it in most of your adapters. Comes with the case, trans flash card reader. You just plug your little card in there that we had in the back of the camera, plug that in a USB port and there you go. Let's see what else we got here. 
uh, we got this little lanyard thing. I believe this slips over here like so and then you can clip it on to your clothes or handle or whatever this is. I'm not sure exactly the use behind that. There is a lanyard here to keep it on your on your person in case it falls off. Then we got an instruction manual and a couple of stickers. But like I said, this is going to be a really quick video. So I'm going to stop it right here. Um, initials, not too impressed with it so far. Really like the form factor. I really want this device to work for me. I'm going to give it a little bit more try so you may see it in some of my videos to come. Uh, otherwise, if you're looking for something, it's $139. I'll put a link to the, uh, into the description down below where you can purchase. Uh, it might not be a bad choice for you, depending on the uh, on your ability, your funds. That is, the GoPros are three hundred dollars. Some of the the contours are three hundred dollars. You know, this is one hundred and thirty. So this this might be a nice choice, even though you're going to get some sub quality there. But all the stuff that comes with it, and the mounting stuff, pretty cool. Well, thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more competition shooting and gun reviews.